everyone how's it going today coach Alvarez here back at you with another episode of coffee with coach hope you're up doing well got the mind in the right place if not as always let's put it in the right place so today i want to um talk about a topic um actually a question that was brought up to me um like a week or two ago uh in class I think it was like after it was like middle of class something like that and um you know one of my students asked me uh, cause they're competing soon. And, um, they're like, Hey coach, how do I build confidence? And I get that question every now and then, um, because, you know, I compete a lot. So I have, uh, had really good results on the competition scene and along with some other things in life. And so, um, you know, I can answer, um, give a good answer for stuff like that, you know? So the answer that I give from my personal experience is just gonna be, um, you gain confidence through repetition, all right? And what that means is, is like the, the like my daily routine of things that I do um, in in whatever it is. So let's just talk jujitsu, cause that's, that's what we're, that was a question, like how do I build confidence for like a tournament and I just got done competing and I just won my sixth um American Nationals title in Las Vegas over the weekend and so um prepping for this tournament um I had to you know tighten some things up fix some things um in my daily uh eating habits and training habits and sleeping habits and just pretty much everything you know, throughout the course of the week, you know, I eat pretty healthy. I just eat, I overeat a lot. I don't really measure things or weigh things or kind of watch my portions. I'm hungry, I just eat and I just eat a lot, but it's healthy, all right? But I'm just like overdoing it. It's like the one, you know, it's like the saying, you have too much of a good thing is, isn't really good for you, you know? So my weight was up like <clears throat> more than it should. I cut about Mm, about seven pounds or something like that, you know, a good five, seven pounds um, of just extra weight that really shouldn't have been there to begin with. Um, got rid of, you know, I got rid of some healthy snacks that I like. I love the trail mix that I got that I get from Sam's Club. It's not salted, it's cashews, almonds, whatever. It's got these little bite sized dark chocolate pieces in it, stuff like that. You know, just stuff like that. So get rid of all that. Try to get to bed earlier. Normally, I'll sometimes I'll get a little bit careless and go to bed about 11, maybe a little bit after. I was trying to get to bed earlier, you know, get home from class, get to sleep, get to get the proper rest, get the proper foods, start eating more, um, more fruits and, and started uh, paying attention to more of my portions and what I was eating, stuff like that. And um, putting better foods in my system throughout the week. And, um, and all those little things just start to add up, right? So I start losing the weight, start getting better sleep, start feeling better during practice. And then when it comes to practice and jujitsu training, I started focusing on like just my A-game stuff. Like these last couple of weeks was like, I just need to focus on the things that I'm really good at. And I know that work for me. Is not it time for me to experiment with some new moves and stuff like that? <clears throat> it's time for me to buckle down and really just kind of get this game plan tightened up. So every round that I had in the last couple of weeks, like I wasn't trying to lose. I'm not trying to lose any round in a like regular practice. So let's say for instance today, I'm gonna to go to practice here pretty soon, right after this, but I don't have a competition coming up this weekend. So I'll go back to experimenting with a, with a technique or with a move or, or you know, it, it's not, um, I'm trying to win the round, but if I don't, it isn't like it, it's going to um, mess up what I was trying to do, you know, because I'm trying to go back to experiment, back to back to learning and, and growing. All right. When it's competition time, I want the reps of just getting after the things that I'm really good at. I'm trying to enter into my game and my system every time I shake hands with my teammates, you know, during practice. I am trying to win that round or those rounds with my A game stuff because I need to see what exactly is working and what is not working and I need to fix those things and get those things prepped up and get and get better before the, the actual tournament. 
So the last couple of weeks, I've been been working on some specific game plans and, you know, they were working pretty good for me. So that's going to boost the confidence level up because I know this stuff works. If I can get into this system, if I can draw my opponent into my game, into my system, and I get the grips that I, that I need or that I want, then I'm most likely going to get what I want because I'm that good at certain things that I do. And that's where the confidence level level starts to go up because I'm, I know it works. I know it's going to work when I get to it. I just have to get to it. And the more you get to it, the more comfortable you feel, the better you feel, the more relaxed you are, and you just start to play the game. Okay. So I think that's where a lot of people make mistakes is they don't really, the confidence level isn't there because they're not really good at like one thing. They're trying to get good at too many, too many things. And there's a time and a place for that. Like I said, back to back to normal practice, back to playing around, uh, you know, with different things and testing things and see, you know, let me try and try this, let me try that. And if it doesn't work, oh well, then it's all good. But during preparation for a tournament, I can't do that. Like I can't play around like that. It has to be, it's all seriousness. The level of intensity goes up. Like all my rounds these last couple of weeks, were really hard, like really hard. Like every time I shook hands with one of my teammates, like I know they felt like the grips, like the 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 pressure, like everything just amped up. And that's kind of normally like like the 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 um, comments that I get, like "Dang, coach, like what's up, man? Like you're getting ready." Like people, like students know, like they'll know because it's like I'm training different. They can see it, you know. The people that are watching, like, "Oh man, coach ain't playing around." Like, but. He must be getting ready for for a tournament because I normally don't announce like on Facebook, Instagram, like I, I got, I'm going to compete at a tournament. I just go and compete. I just stay under the radar, just put my head down, get after it. No announcement about anything. And then I just fly in somewhere and go compete and then I come home. But the ones that are there on a daily basis and they're watching and they, they're, they're rolling with me or they're, they're watching my rounds, they can see the difference okay? or they can feel the difference depending on who it is. And so the confidence level starts to go up because I can, I can feel the game just getting better and better and better because I'm getting repetitions of what I like to do and it's working and it's working more and it's working more. So that, that level of confidence goes up. I'm sleeping better. I'm getting more rest. I'm eating better. My weight's going down. Um, the workouts, the lifting weights intensified more. Like, you know what I mean? I put more into the weightlifting. I put more into my runs um, trying to run a little faster each day, trying to get, trying to get, um, beat the, the time the day before, um, everything, everything, like everything amps up and then the confidence level goes up. But, and I didn't miss a thing. Like I didn't miss a thing, meaning there, there was no, not, not there was not one slip in anything that I, that I did over these last couple of weeks. Like it, it, it's, it's a very monotonous, like tedious, like, um, Man, sometimes I'm just like, man, this sucks. But it's just, it's just because I'm like taking all these pills and vitamins and joint pills and making my shakes and making this and cooking this and doing that and prepping this. And, you know, just the just the amount of work that it takes to prep my body for a tournament um, is a lot. But what comes with that is the confidence level. Like, I'm ready. Like, I felt as good as I felt in a long, long time for a tournament for this past tournament. Because American Nationals is, is a is a is like one of your top tournaments in IBJJF. You know, you got your worlds, you got your pans, and you got American Nationals, you know, um stuff like that. So it, it's definitely up there as far as like the titles go. So it's not like a um you know LA open, you know, uh um Atlanta open or Houston open. And those are all really tough tournaments too, but there's a difference. And there's a different level of competitors that come out for certain tournaments. So, you know, I knew like there wasn't no playing around. And some of the other tournaments, you know, I wouldn't cut the weight. I would just go up a weight class. You know, I wouldn't um, dial in as, as much as I would like for a tournament like this. And so the way I felt going into this past weekend was the best that I felt in a very long time. Like my body just felt really good. I, for whatever reason, I didn't really have, I mean, as hard as I was training, I didn't really have any um, injuries. 
I didn't feel any, you know, tweaks, pulls or anything that was kind of nagging me like I've had in the past. Like so many times in the past, I've had so many things that just wouldn't go away. And I just had to compete with it. But this time, you know, I didn't. And this was like a year, because July 4th of last year, I, I tore my knee. I tore my meniscus in two different places. And I had two different surgeons told me I needed surgery. And I opted not to have the surgery. So I just rehabbed the knee up by myself, just doing my daily workouts and stuff like that. And so um, the confidence of my knee had to be there as well. So I had to really push myself and practice to like, as hard as I could go in every round and every practice in the mornings, I do four, four rounds in the morning. I would do four rounds at night, <clears throat> plus the runs, plus the workouts. And those are normal things anyways. Like those are normal things that I do on a, when I'm not competing. It's just the level of intensity that I put into it went way up. Okay. You know, maybe it's like a five or six or, you know, seven, depending on the day. Like if I feel it, I do. If I don't, oh well, you know, I'm still, I still get after it in practice, but the, Every round was like a finals match to me these last couple of weeks. So I've, every um, thing that I put in my body was like, kind of felt like that, the way I slept, every, everything, everything. There was no stone like unturned, like like nothing, like everything was like perfect, like to a T. Like I did, I did everything right. And when if you do everything right and you don't leave anything to chance within your control, okay, within your control, then the confidence level goes up. There's no way that it can't. I did everything right. I turned up the heat on everything, everything. Like I got my weight down way ahead of time. So I'm training at the weight that I was gonna fight at and um, you know, hydrated well and this, that, whatever. And like, I felt great. And every round I just brought 100% intensity like, like it was a finals match. And so, that helped me mentally like, okay, I'm, I'm ready. You know, I'm, I'm hundred percent prepared to go out there. Now I just got to go out and execute. The body's ready. The mind is ready. Um, the weight is on point and now I just got to go out there and execute, you know, and that's the way I felt. So when someone <clears throat> wants to know, like, how do I build confidence? The confidence comes from doing all the right things. You can't, you just can't like, I've had students in the past that were like really talented, like really good, but then they would eat bad, you know, or they wouldn't want to run or they didn't want to work out or they didn't want to train as hard in the rounds. And in my mind, I'm looking at it, I'm coaching whoever these, these, these people I'm referring to are. And I'm like, that's not how you win championships. Like, how do you go out there? And, you know, and some people will get lucky and, and can pull that off. But I don't have that type of like super talented skill set you know, God given gifts that can just get away with things. I, I don't. So I have to do everything right. And I like it that way. I'd rather have it this way than the other way, because I really, really have to work for it and really, really have to do everything right to go out there and win. I get comments all the time, like, oh, like I ran into people like after the, after the tournament, I got the gold medal around my neck or like, oh, like, uh, of course you did, or like, you know, doesn't surprise me or like whatever. And some people think like, that's just a given. Like, I'm just gonna go out, sign up for a tournament and then like, I'm just automatically gonna win. Like, that's not how it works, you know? I'm not undefeated. I mean, I've definitely won a hell of a lot more than I've lost, but I do lose. But it's 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 because of the work that's put in behind the scenes. Like, no one really sees like, the the the, the foods and the stuff and the workouts and the and the things that I'm doing because they can't follow me around all day. Like they don't, they can't see that. All they see is the gold medals or they see me in the social media with the, on the number one uh, spot with on the podium, stuff like that. But they're not seeing what went in behind that. Okay. So the confidence is going to come in from doing all the right things. Like not one thing can you miss. Okay. you got to run. you got to work out. you got to eat right. you got to train hard. you got to read the right things, listening to the right things. You got to visualize the, the techniques that you're going to use. You got to practice them and, and put them in play ahead of time and just do all the right things. You know, the last couple of weekends, like there's no hanging out. There's no this, that I'm being called boring. You're no fun. Like I'll get back to that. But afterwards, like I, I'd rather get these titles in and make a name for my, keep the name going for myself and, you know, leave, um, you know, my name in the record book, so to speak, you know, um, then just 
hang out and party all the time. Like there's always a t there's always going to be room for that, but it's like there's these windows here to go out and compete, and I wanted to take advantage of it, so left everything behind, did everything I was supposed to do, and the confidence level was way up because I did everything right. Like I said, <clears throat> body was right, mind was right, the game was on point, everything was good. Now I just got to go out there and execute. Now. I went out there and won. It didn't go out like it, like how I planned, like the games and stuff that I had in my head, like how I thought the matches were gonna go, didn't go that way. <clears throat> Jiu-Jitsu, a lot of it is 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 adapting, improvising, adjusting on the fly, you know? So I had to do a lot of that. We're like, man, okay, this isn't working. This isn't working, man. This is not how I expected this, this match to start off or how I expected it to be in the middle, you know, but I know how to adjust and adapt in the middle of my rounds because that's just how I practice, how I fight. Like I'm there to win. When I practice on a daily basis, I try to win every round. It's just what I do, okay? And so when it comes to competing, that just becomes easier because I know how to score. I know how to, how, I know how to come back. I can be down on points and come back and win if there's still point, still time on the clock. So all of that stuff matters, but if someone wants to compete and you want to build confidence, you have to do all the right things. And you got to let everything go, get away from all the distractions and put 110% into it. Because if you don't, then there's always going to be that in the back of your mind. Oh, well, if I would have did this, then I probably would have won. Or if I would have did that, you know, I never want to live like that or be like that. I never want to walk away from a tournament like and be like, man, if I just would have, maybe I could have, you know what I mean? Like, so it's, it's never like that. It's always like, if I lose, I just had a really bad day, you know, or, you know, my opponent was just that much better than me because it can happen that way. You can do everything right. I mean, I don't know how many times I've been at a tournament and the morning of you're just not for whatever reason, it's just not, it's just not there. Like, like the, the fire, the flame, whatever it is like to just get amped up and going because you need to be ready. Um, when you get ready to shake hands and go out and compete, that fire needs to be there. And sometimes that flame is very low for whatever reason. Um, and you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get it up. You gotta get it there. You know, that happened to me in, in Spain and Barcelona a couple of years ago. I mean, I, I just didn't sleep well. It was hot and um, I was falling asleep in the bullpen waiting. They, the, the time was running way behind. <clears throat> so, you know, when they did call my name, I mean, I'm like just coming out of like, just, dozing off and just wasn't there you know i had already warmed up got amped up I was feeling good was ready okay but then boom they don't call your name for a while so then you just cool down sit down end up falling asleep and then you wake up and you're just kind of tired and you know and so when the match started i was behind like i was behind in the middle of the round like towards the end i had to like finally come back and then i ended up winning but you know that's just this is how it is. So sometimes it's just it's just going to be like that. So you have to be able to adapt and adjust on the fly on things. And, and, and when things aren't going as planned, like you have in your head, you have this idea of what your round, what your match is going to be like, but it doesn't always go that way. So the confidence level also comes from when you're practicing, are you are you practicing right? You know, so and that's why I get really hard on my students with things like it's just practice, but like it's the way we practice. It's the way I coach, you know, I'll coach sometimes, man, you like a little intense or you listen because I want you to win. Like I want you to win more than I think you want to win, you know, and referring to like students. All right. So that's just me. That's just how I coach It's how I've always been. It's how I always be. So but the uh, take that confidence in anything else in life, like like what are you doing? that are you are you doing everything in your power everything in your in your control to to win whatever it is that you're trying to win off the mat and if you are then you're probably going to have the confidence to go out and achieve whatever whatever it is that you're trying to achieve but if you're sleeping in you're not eating right you're not running you're not working out your money ain't right you're you're living the wrong way you're doing foul things and trying to short change things and take shortcuts and stab people in the back and just step over people or just whatever like the confidence level just can't be there because you're cheating like you're not doing the right things but when you're doing all the right things and everything is 
the way it's supposed to be and in your control and you're giving it a hundred percent in every little area that you got. There is just no way you cannot have confidence to go out and win in whatever it is that you're trying to do. Okay. So again, from someone that's winning have, have won so many things at the highest level, this is how I do it. It's a lot, a lot of work. It's a lot of sacrifice. It's a lot of complaining from family members that you're boring and you're no fun and you know, I can't wait till the other Dan comes back because this one's lame. Hey man, I'll be lame all day with that gold medal on my neck and on the number one spot and that gold medal up on my wall, you know? So um, to me, making history and me leaving my name in the history books is not lame, all right? It's the best feeling ever. It's always a great feeling to um, get the the win when you put in that kind of work. And again, sometimes you put in all that work and you still come up short, but you're so much better because of it, because you have did all the right things. You've actually got better because of it. Your body's better, your mind's better, your jiu-jitsu's better, you're stronger, faster, whatever. And, um, you know, that's just how it, how it is. So you're looking for some confidence in your jiu-jitsu or something else um, that you're trying to achieve. Just ask yourself, are you doing all the right things? Are you doing everything in your control to make sure that thing is going to happen? And if the answer is yes, then the confidence level is going to be there. You go in there with your head held high, chest out, shake hands in whatever scenario it is and get after it. And you'll probably come out on top. But if you're shortchanging some things, taking shortcuts, making excuses, I don't want to run. I don't want to work out. I, I want to eat my favorite foods. I don't want to train that hard. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to. Well, good luck. Good luck. Cause you're going to need it. You know, I never tell any of my students, good luck. You know, I don't tell myself good luck. Like I don't need the luck, you know, that, that just, I know when I put the right amount of work in good things are going to happen for me. So confidence level is way up, way high. When you do everything in your control, no excuses, all the sacrifices, just do the work and you'll be able to walk into any arena, any office, any scenario with your head held high and, and confident that you can achieve the, you know, the goal at hand. So anyways, got to leave it there. You guys have a great day. Catch you on the next one.